ladies and gentlemen welcome to nbot that's nobody on time you know it i know it and then your grandmother twice removed knows it for the love of god it happens literally during the intro thank you so much for tuning in it's me it's me it's just sale and i'm hanging out with the big boss from the big seat or i guess the hot seat it's enrique what's up bro what's up what's up man how you doing how's everyone going we are on our way it is uh it is crazy what's been going on and like the the workload that has been crazy on you i like i seen your notes for this coming episode and i'm like jesus and you when you told me this is from two days I was just, like, Bro. yeah this is just essentially saturday and today is like i have like probably double digit bullet points on top of what's literally happening within the last three minutes of us going live no i'm sure it's, i see your phone's popping and uh it's not even a 1-900 number they it's yeah they, they don't even <laughs> uh they don't let me breathe man there's just no moment like I, it's come to a point where even when i double book it seems that that's not good enough it saved yeah. me at one site one of the logistics sites that had their um extra hour start early so that worked out but like one one what is it one shift forward and seven shifts back like it's just i had that's dark posts i haven't had dark posts in like seven years no I, it was six six business. seven years no it's horrible that means nobody's yeah. there all right and um yeah it just kind of like it started as one little thing and i was like okay yeah let me let me reach out to a couple people then it turned into two then it turned into five and then i had like a two hour gap and then everyone started i was like okay i got bandages up i'm gonna leave and then i'm gonna yeah. my son and i are gonna go get lunch and we're gonna go drive around for a bit so i can slow him down because my daughter's with my was with my parents this weekend for like sleepover mode and it gives my wife like a break so she doesn't have to worry about like it's just like we were just i was just trying to mitigate as much as i can and then how dare i <laughs> it just kind of exploded into everything that happened it was just it was really bad on top of the fact that the Bears lost, oh, and it's not like they lost in uh, an orderly fashion. Like, it's, there's so much going on in regards to coaching and upper management that the OC that got dropped is just, he's just, uh, what do they call it? It's just a stone, you know, a head on a stone. That's, not, that's just there for show to drop the OC because he's not the real problem. The coach is the problem. And the, he's, the main coach is a problem. Yeah, he evil, problem. evil Flus or whatever the hell his name is. Like he's yeah, just—it's just, it's just really bad. Problem. Because it's not like, it's not like, oh man, I made a call and the call didn't work. He's making bad calls and then admitting to the bad calls in all the post-conference interviews. And he's just yeah. like, yeah, I did this and it didn't work out because I, I just made a bad call, or you know, we went for the kick and it did. It's like the first time that the Packers have blocked a field goal in like 80 years or whatever. To, to secure a win. The, I think going back to like Favre era, that far back, the Packers are like 50 and 12 against the Bears. Like it's just well, something ridiculous. 11 and 0 in the last like five years or 11 yeah. and 0. It's just really bad. It's yeah, really no. bad. And you thought, well, I he... mean, there was good momentum going into this game in regards to like, um, I guess, mental space for the players. Caleb like apologize for not being able to execute bro you're a, a rookie you shouldn't have to do that so it's shifting for you to do it, yeah. well i i know the 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 big problem is Eberflus blaming the last kick as a penalty which is ridiculous you shouldn't have put him in that yeah position. yeah they should have kept they should have kept the, the the you know foot down on the pedal and gone in for an actual score instead of just relying on the field goal we've had we've got trauma when it comes to field goals in this town you know i don't know yeah. if you guys remember parky like the, we 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 know what could happen, and you you have a, a pretty good game plan this game. I think the OC, which happened to be the OC from um, from Carolina that took over midseason, like they did last year, so it was like almost identical to what happened first time, first uh, first year quarterback. So you have a good game plan. Again, you move the pocket, like I have been saying. He got out on on the run. 
Um, you you got them into short throwing. They like they kept raving about it. Tom Brady was right on the part all day on the mark yeah. with describing what was going on with Caleb, why he was doing better. The ball's coming out quicker. The receivers are making plays. It's it's everything that you wanted the game script to be, except the decisions at the end to you know just waste time, not push it in to try to get either a chip shot field goal or get it as close to a touchdown. The offense was was running. You know, Jalen Johnson made one mistake, which he fell down, got tripped up. The guy went off for 60. That's not normal for your defense. Yeah. So this was an opportunity for your offense to bail out your defense and get that camaraderie going that, like, the defense feels like they have to do everything on their own, which they did spectacularly this game. So yeah. what they did to the Packers to, to limit love and limit those guys, they did, you know, Jacobs is a, is a handful at running back. They were able to still limit him to, you know, maybe one score. Um, which sucked for my fantasy day, by the way. Um, <laughs> but like you were able to do your job and you have the ball under three minutes. You have enough time to get it down the field. Green Bay doesn't have many timeouts, so you can kill the clock. And to not be able to just, you know, put your foot down under throws. I get you're not comfortable with Caleb at this point. He's making mistakes. He's taking sacks. I totally get that. But you got him gelling. His his confidence is peaking. Why not go for the last blow to just put the nail in the coffin, call it a day. Green Bay is our biggest rival internally. When we're at games with, against other teams, we're still saying FGB. Like, yeah. that's how, how meathead we are as a city, that this is the team. If you're going to do it against anyone else, it is Green Bay that you just want to say, slap them in the face and say, we don't want anything else to do with you. Aaron Rodgers is no longer there. Like, we want to take it back, take the North back. And you just, you peed on yourself. You peed on yourself. And I've got to sit here for another week and just think about how bad the pee smells. It's just, it smells like piss. You smell it? It just smells like piss. Yeah, it's Ugh. really bad. I'm, I'm I'm just I'm done with them. Yeah, I mean at Not this really. point, especially with like the way that the rest of the um, season is gonna go, your only real win is gonna be Seattle, maybe. Because no, like, maybe because yeah. we said on paper that like the Patriots was gonna be the auto win, and then they got like twelve sacks. Yeah. So right. like it's just whatever. It is what it is. Maybe the fantasy like leagues that you're in, and then the MBLT fantasy league can keep my attention. But I'm at the point where. I'm not even worried about Sunday anymore, and I'm just going to dump all my focus back into hockey and basketball. Well, and just kind of call it because, like, I'm not, yeah. I'm not, I'm just not having, I'm not having fun watching it. My dad and I are texting back and forth about how the mush is real, no matter who we cheer for. Because I was yeah, like, right. hey, he's like, oh, you know, they scored all, like that first score that came in. He goes, I'm going to root for the Packers because you know if I start rooting for the Packers, they're going to start doing bad. And I was like, hey, I'm not even going to watch the game because apparently if I don't watch, the Bears will do good. So, like, between the two of us, we should be able to, like, balance it out. And then Enrique's, like, positivity will take us over the edge. And, like, that didn't work. So we got to find a new, like, combo for it. And then Junior is, like, whomping me on uh, on fantasy today. Let me tell you the text message I just got from my boy. (laughs) Let me tell you this because he sent a screenshot of your guys' score. Yeah. Uh, he is he is hilarious and ridiculous. At the same yeah, because we're we're essentially sharing touchdowns like for the yeah, entire right. Sunday night game, which was really fun to watch. Like that was an exciting game to watch. Well, so that, that and just, I, I got a story that on that cool. one. Yeah, on one of my leagues, so I ended up going like two and five on my leagues, which yeah. is ridiculous. I've never gone two and five yeah, in my bad. history. So he puts comeback season for sure. I was at the bottom of the league. Now I'm five and five, about to be six and five. Sal mm-hmm. can eat it. Yeah, I mean that's true. That's true, but I got I got one of the Enriques, so I'm all right. Yeah, yeah right, all no, right. Funny. I was able to yeah. do damage where I needed to do damage. Yeah, all I, I know is that I'm the only one that's clinched with a buy. So like I, I'm, you guys can do. <laughs> you can talk about whatever you want to talk about. It doesn't matter to me. I could lose every game for the rest of the season, and I'll still be fine. But the only um, clinching I got right now is my butt cheek. That's right, full on, tired. full on cheekinator. That's it, man. But yeah, so it's like football's not doing it for me. I'm just gonna go back to hockey. And what's his name? Uh, um, like, hockey's had some pretty crazy, like, moments where it's come down to, if I'm not mistaken, uh, uh, what's his name? Ove- uh, Ovechkin might be able to pass Gretzky's all-time goal record this really? season. Really? Yeah. Was that goal record, like, like the Babe Ruth's, like, yeah, home run record? Gretzky, I think, is at, like, 894, some, some crazy high number for his career. And Ovechkin is, like... 25 or 30 goals behind him 
So I there's a that ever be broken. There's a real crazy chance that that might happen. So like, if anyone is even a quarter of the way interested in uh, hockey, this is the season to check wow. it out because there's wow. there's a good amount of stuff that's going to go down, which is going to be pretty dope. That's crazy. So you got that one. So that's a really that, cool that's one. like the that's like the uh, the record in. Uh in the pga right like what who's got that record that tiger woods was Isn't still tight around. well well it's either, no it's not tiger um i, I forget the oh, main golfer's the name uh, I, I don't think it's remember. arnold palmer. i don't know no, who it's it is, not palmer but, it's not um but everyone's chasing this guy man i can't remember it off the top of my head because i watch i watch golf as like ambience like i don't really, oh, really? watch it i just listen to it in the background when the seasons are going so I don't keep up with it like I do with basketball or hockey or even football for that matter. But like I like golf is calming. Golf is very calming for me. People say it's boring, but like you hit a two inch ball three hundred yards into a four inch hole. Like, okay. But like that's not, like there's <laughs> there's clearly a skill a tradable skill set that's in that, that hand eye coordination, precision, power, you know, endurance, because you gotta you're you're there's a lot to it but like the way that the commentary presents everything and just yeah, the scenery jack, 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 nichols. jack nichols yeah jack nichols yeah and then and then the scenery for these golf these golf courses oh, very is insane it's beautiful yeah, so for me beautiful. it's like a windows wallpaper just like rotating yeah. through things so i just let the, i just usually let that go like in a a different monitor and just let it play when it's playing assuming that play it's golf playing. I get mini play. golf, but that's about it. Yeah, no, that's it. Because uh, like, I get invited to golf stuff all the time. Because at my level, like, we're supposed to like take yeah, clients stuff. And golf yeah. and stuff. But like, every time I do it, like, they need to come in and like redo, resod the ground because I have so many divots in it. So I remember last time I went, and that was when JC was around. You know, rest in peace. Um, I was just hanging out on the golf carts, man. I was just cruising. And it was it was cool to hang out with like the you know the big bosses or whatever, but mm -hmm. like I can't I can't contribute. I don't know what it is. And when it was funny because when I was in high school, they had golf as part of like uh like uh your gym class. It was like yeah. a semester of golf. And I remember I, I, I broke too many of the of the like the whatever they call the clubs. The clubs, I whatever broke, they like, call I, 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 Yeah, whatever they call the clubs, whatever. I broke two of them and my, my gym teacher's like, just I'm gonna give you an A, just go sit over there. Just, just go sit, maybe do wind sprints or something. You can't touch any more of our clubs. And uh, I've never been able to go back and try to do it. I, I don't just, think we, I, I mean, we had a golf team in my high school, but we didn't have like golf as part of gym class or PE, whatever you wanted to call it. We had badminton. That was dope. Oh, I love badminton. Yeah. I could do badminton all day. Handball. Yeah. I love handball. Handball. It was just, yeah, no, it was just golf. Cornhole. It was I weird. wish cornhole was more. Cornhole. Oh, I wish man, that was more dude. of a thing. It'd be an Olympic sport. I could do that. It might as well be. If, they, if you can do curling right. as an Olympic sport, cornhole should be in there. Now, I don't know if you ever watch cornhole on like ESPN, but those people are crazy. The Ocho? Yeah. yeah. They're, they're yeah. crazy. Well, so is curling. Curling's crazy. Yeah, but curling, like the, I don't know. I feel, the floor, just like I feel like because curling's Olympic, that I'm, I justify mentally why it's so intense. But, like, yeah, okay. people don't need to be that intense for what I used to play in bars. Like, I can't go curling at a bar. I can throw <laughs> bags at a bar. And, like, yeah, I, you can do the occasional fist bump with a beer in your hand. But, like, oh, sure. on ESPN, these dudes are, they're like the, I don't know if you remember the guys who are, like, the pro bowlers on ESPN who would just yeah. go beyond, like, full, <laughs> was it, full kingpin, kingpin style? Kingpin, yeah. yeah. Where... <laughs> Did, did we talk about how he he actually bowled those first three strikes yeah, yeah, on his yeah, own yeah. Bill Murray? Yeah. And the Bill crowd Murray. is completely improvised, everything that was happening. So everything yeah, that you saw that. with that, yeah, his hair crazy. They just they just filmed and said go. <laughs> it's only he just go. started bowling and then that happened. But um yeah, I did like there's there's this like the the ESP and the Ocho, like the, the fake yeah, yeah. Ocho that's out there. Right. Has right, like right has like axe throwing knife throwing uh bags I dominoes can't even do axe throwing i feel oh, like I, dude, i'm not I, gonna survive i can't survive i was at a buddy's i was at a buddy's wedding like we were i was standing up at his wedding and we we're watching axe throwing as like the buffer while everyone's getting their suits together or whatever 
yeah, and like yeah. we of course we all started throwing bets down and we're like people are taking shots based on that it's just crazy so it's like we made it fun but again i don't understand being that intense on something that like a grandma could pay ten dollars for in like a in like a rec room or like one of those like destroy rooms i just like i i don't know because now like axe throwing is like part of um like dave and buster's experience yeah, it's like it's, yeah, it's everywhere it's very modernized it. now same you know thing with I darts i love it? darts i'm a huge uh, yeah, I, fan I'm of good darts. With darts i'm good i'm good well, with darts. Do, 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 do. Yeah, i love right. watching darts international <laughs> so the the first time i saw someone throw an axe or a knife at something to stick yeah. was top shot top shot <laughs> on the history channel and that was like okay like all right that's all right i get why you're doing it but like whatever and then all of a yeah. sudden it's a craze everywhere everyone's like oh i'm throwing axes like yeah we're like we're going backwards yeah it's backwards. crazy I, yeah, I used to watch stuff like that at, like, uh, prehistoric. I used to see stuff <laughs> like that at medieval, or not medieval times. Well, I guess technically medieval times, but at the Renaissance Fair, they would do The Renaissance like Fair, yeah. yeah no, which right. is super different now. Like, they yeah. they still have that medieval aspect, but it's been invaded by so many different, like, niches. Like no, um, That's the problem, yeah. It's just too much. Like, you have people that go Renaissance. Blame the hippies. So Blame it's the like, hippies. so instead of, it, like, it should just all be medieval. That's the whole point. It's all very Robin Hood. Like, that's the era of, of the Renaissance fair. But you have people who will come in and, like, togas, and they're like, oh, we're the right. Roman Renaissance. Yeah, you have people right, right. come in with, like, that clockwork kind of effect where it's just like, I don't know. It's just like canes and just weird stuff. Like, what's that? I just, I just want to shake your forearm. Just let me shake your forearm and tell you good morning. Yeah, good morning. Right. Yeah, strength and honor. <laughs> I'm off to war. Strength and honor. You know? Yes, that's just, it. just let me do that. But like, yeah, yeah, no. Renaissance fair is still fun. They still have like the one, at least the one in Wisconsin, still has a lot of the classic, like Renaissance events that happen in there, like the the mud show and. A lot of the jesters and a lot of the dancing. They have Wait, the, there's, the mud, there's mud wrestling. Oh, no, it was a mud show, so it's like a comedy show based on like jumping into mud piles and stuff. Oh, it's not mud wrestling. I got. I don't know if you saw. I just like piqued my interest. I'm like mud wrestling. I'm no, like, no, it. it's not like that at all. Because oh, they didn't okay. do that back then. So like, that's the, not the again, not the genre. You're thinking WWE and like Kitty or whatever. Like no, I'm not, <laughs> or like no, full I'm on actual mud uh, wrestling, which is whatever. No, but. what was the what was that movie? Uh, the one with the fraternity. Um, old school, wasn't it? Old school. Where I don't had, remember like, the, pit, the pit of like KY, and they were like wrestling in it. No, I don't. I'm not denying it. I just don't. What was the one with Seth Rogen where he's battling like the the frat oh, that that's, lives next that's door? That's the neighbors. That's yeah. what James Franco and they all do the yeah. Robert De Niro. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. It's one of the best. One of the best scenes and invitations to a to a to a guy ever. The best say. prank ever was the airbag prank where everyone's just getting launched into the air. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, <laughs> dude. That movie's hilarious. Pretty that crazy. Movie is hilarious. Yeah. And then wasn't yeah. the sequel they like teamed up, like the the seth rogan and his family teamed up with the frat people to like stop a different frat or something like that i think there was an invasion or something and they yeah. all like teamed up together there was it definitely was, a was sequel cool. for no reason well it was money yeah. but like there was never yeah. a sequel for no real reason yeah right, and, right. and then it went uh, from there but oh man i can't believe you've seen that movie that's a great movie yeah it's been a long time i saw it once and i and i just repeat watch the de niro impressions and then i just oh, go back man. to whatever it was i was doing he starts calling him flocker with the little cat yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right yo that's like frank one. franco's like an underrated like actor yeah like, he's, he's done great in a lot of different things I, I love him in that one yeah it's very very solid stuff and comedy is i mean I don't know. They're all funny. That whole group, the Franco Rogan group, oh, yeah. is just is just a ball Pineapple, to watch. Pineapple Express show. is hilarious. Yeah. Like, a classic, uh, a yeah. classic upgrade to um, Baked. Was that the one oh, with yeah. Half Baked? Uh, Half Baked with um, that was with uh, Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle, and I can't remember who's the guy that always looks like he's high, but he's not high. The white. Oh, Canadian. I don't. Yeah, I know Jim exactly Brewer, what you're talking about. something like that. Yeah. I want to say it's Jim Jim Brewer. I think. Where he's like, I'm Cuban B. Yeah, yes, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but um, let's dive into it because yeah, please. I don't even have avenues to vent anymore because it's just too. It's just too much. It's too it's much. Of, it's an avalanche. It's an avalanche. It's an avalanche would be like I'd rather ski down an avalanche with like my bare feet than like deal with any of these things <laughs> that I deal with. 
So our logistic team or our logistic client, whatever you want to call them, finally dropped the axe on Mr. Old Time Sleepy. Um, and it took three weeks for them to finally say, yes, get him out. And right. it was just like, why did it take so long? Oh, I don't want to be the bad guy. And and then what's the guy talking to me about? Hey, Sal, do you think I'm going to have a job come Christmas? Don't make me feel bad. <laughs> okay, don't make me feel bad that you fall asleep every right. day you work. And then the first thing he says to me is he throws another guard under the bus. He goes, oh. well, if I'm getting kicked out for sleeping, you got to kick this guy out for sleeping. I'm like, I'm like, bro, why don't... And I say, I just said his name. I didn't say bro. But I'm like, bro, why don't you... You have to tell me these things. Why aren't you yeah. telling the supervisor from the first shift? You see him. Why is it no like now suddenly you want to tell me all the beans and all the dirt and all the tea on everybody? What is this? You know what? You like, know what I'm you're, picturing? You're an old man. Like you should know better. Well, I'm I'm picturing Forrest Gump where Bubba and Forrest are like back to back and like <laughs> let's just lean up against each other so we don't fall in the mud. No, like, <laughs> yeah, I mean I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, we don't we don't look like we're asleep, but we're just sitting back to back to each other, just have you know, holding each other up. Like that's what I'm picturing. It was just beyond ridiculous, beyond ridiculous. And then like the backup to that site, which is essentially my patrol team, I had two patrol officers just quit. So the first one was supposed to cover a commercial building, and they're covering in the mornings because I'm cross training an officer to take over the mornings. So she only needed to cover it for two weekends. It's her normal shift. She's been there a thousand times. Yeah, all right. She knows what to do. She knows the routes. She doesn't like the guy that she relieves because he's creepy and weird. And he says creepy and weird stuff. And I was like, okay, well, do you want to file a report? Well, no, I just don't want to go there anymore. I'm like, that's not, you have to, you have to say it's yeah. official. And it has, to, like, you have to give me the information. Don't give me this half, you know, don't give me half the, the loaf. Oh, I don't oh, want the slices. Oh, oh. Like, Explain to me what the problem is. Do you feel uncomfortable? Do you feel unsafe? Do you feel that you're in a hostile work environment? Do you feel you're being offended? And if so, how or why or through what conversation? Like, I'm going to need the details because if I pull the trigger on stuff, I need the facts to pull this trigger, especially with our HR team that's in the house who decides to slap wrists all the time and never wants to pull the trigger. So no. I'm like... I'm the one. I'm the one who 86 is the most people in this branch here, and you need you. I need the ammo to do it right. So if you're just if he's just a weird guy, then that's different than he's offending you or he's like, you know, right. he's doing something malicious or or fraudulent or or whatever. So I got the okay, no text messages or anything. I send a reminder, a courtesy reminder. Friday afternoon so that they know what's going on for Saturday morning. They don't show up Saturday morning. It's like 7 o'clock in the morning. I get texts and calls from the guy saying, hey, where's my relief at? I get texts and calls from our field supervisor. Hey, the guy's calling me asking where the relief is at. I go, you're on duty. Like, like, what? She call, you. like call, look in the book and call the person. Okay, so we both look and I know who it is. I'm like, you know who it is. Just call them. Yeah. So I send the text. Hey, what's up? No, nothing. A field supervisor sends a text and makes a phone call. They get a hold of them. Oh, I'll be there and I'll be there in like 40 minutes, which means you haven't left your house yet. And then they get another phone call, maybe 20 minutes into it. Oh, where am I going? Am I going to that commercial building? And then the field supervisor tells them, yes, it's been on your schedule for over a week. Oh, okay, I quit. Oh my God. Just straight up via text message. I quit. So a field supervisor says, hey, you got to tell Sal. You can't just, like, if you're going to do it, at least tell him. So it's official. Okay. Doesn't do it. So I just screenshot. Uh, I take the screenshot from my field supervisor, tag that to the uh, tag that to the disciplinary separation paperwork. Goodbye. I'm done with you. Now I got to figure out, okay, so, hey, field supervisor, you go there. I'll take care of your night shift. I'll do this. And then I'll figure out tomorrow because she's supposed to do this person who quit supposed to do two days. So I got to I got to dig down deep into the bag of tricks. And then I ended up pulling out uh, MR and MR is in like, you know, full dread mode. So I'm like, hey, you got to like just show up on time, bro. Like, I don't care. I don't care if you're wearing 
like a Batman outfit. Just show up on time. As long as the as long as the symbol in the middle is an A and not the bat signal, I don't care. Like I'm okay. Just get there. He's like, I got you, Sal. I'm not really working a lot this week. I got you. And he's the guy who saved me when I was on post at the logistics site, like you know, a month ago or whatever it was. So I was like, cool, you saved me again. Thank you so much. So like that's taken care of. But like on the flip side, my overnight uh, patrol person has been MIA since last Tuesday. So oh, I'm, I've been sending text messages. I've been sending dispatches. I'm doing the phone call. I'm doing the video call. I'm doing a Google call. I send out emails, tagging you, tagging HR, tagging them. They have multiple email accounts. I'm tagging everyone and their mother. And it's still not like really working. So I was like, well, that's job abandonment. And I was like, I pushed it as far as I could push it. And I'm like, so I just deleted them all out. And like, now they're both gone. So now half my patrol team disappeared in a weekend. Gone. Right before peak. Right before peak. Right. <laughs> awesome. So that happened. Then I had um, one of my commercial slash retail sites, essentially a warehouse, where the normal officer does a double on Saturday and then a regular shift on Sunday. So this past Saturday, the, the first half of their double got deleted. So the client said that they didn't need to have somebody in there. So I was like, cool, like you can take care of whatever you need to take care of in the morning because you've had attendance issues and it's been affecting everybody. Yeah. Sal, I got it. I'll take my son to the dentist appointment. Here's the paperwork for it. It's going to be at like 930 or whatever. I'll be there for the two o'clock shift. Two o'clock comes around. Nothing. Now I'm getting spammed by the client. Hey, where's the person? I called the guard. They said they called you, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, bro, it's Saturday. Like, I'm not, this phone is not glued to my forehead. And that, that if it's a client I'm thinking of, like, he's just constant. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, constant, yeah. It kind of SS. He's all up in my face oh, all yeah. the time no, about yeah, everything. All the time. Every so time. I'm just like, hey, man, like, let me see what, like, you got a person on site and like, yeah, they need to be relieved because they're holding the post, which is what happens a lot in regards to like, we share a post with them. So I was just like, yeah, let me make some calls. I'll get some people out there. Just give me like an hour to figure it out. Oh, an hour. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. My person needs to leave. I'm like, my people need to leave too. But, like, also, again, it's Saturday in the middle of the afternoon, and I don't just have, like, a bag of people specific to your site. I have a bag of people for the logistics sites, but not for your site. They can just go over there and sit there because you don't want someone to just sit there, right? Right. Oh, you're, you're that's right, Sal. So, you know, okay, just keep me updated. So I end up getting the overnight guy to come in early, and he does, like, a 12-hour set. But, like, God forbid that their people had to work for four extra hours. As I like literally get someone on our end to work four extra hours. Like you can't just trade ski with me. Like just yeah. do the trade. Like I know it sucks and like it is what it is. But you have to remember that you also completely manipulated all three of my sites, four of my sites. Because someone went on PTO and then someone got hurt at the same time on your team. It has nothing to do with me. And then you force fed all my people to go to a different site. When you don't well, pay for they, gas, you don't pay for mileage. That's right. You don't well, let them rotate. Like it's just like it's on the whim, and on the whim stuff is ridiculous. And they've taken so many of our people. Yeah, a lot. They've so taken a lot. So many of our people. Yeah, they and they've hired them. Yeah. So, so it's like, like you, you, come on. you go under the rug and you steal my guard to give them an extra fifty cents instead of just paying them an extra fifty cents in the contracts we have, and then I go blank for two weeks because you took the guard that's been there for like ten years. I, I don't know. It is what it is with yeah. that. Then I have our re, like our our retail. You almost got me in trouble. Site where um, you have to have state credentials on you, so you need to have like a paper or digital state credential yeah, right, right, right. to display because the state reps for like this for our credential. Like it's a, it's essentially a um, a department sure. in Springfield. That has like their own people that come out to these sites because these sites are a big deal and it's a huge. It's not like a you know it's not like a Costco. It sells a a a, a extremely taxable uh, thing. Um, that's not I like how you're struggling not to give yeah, it away. I'm trying like not that. to give it away. So yeah, it's just like there's a lot of provisions that go into this retail location that like 
the uke can't handle. Like this is really, <laughs> and you have to have your credentials on you, especially if you're armed. So I have like I'm starting to cross train flex staff to cover call offs at the non armed location. Right. The first thing that happens is you get an email that my flex officer A doesn't have his credential on him and B doesn't even know what it is. I'm like, how do you not know? What the state license is, you have to have it to work. No, right. Like, yeah. and, and you're not new. You're not like, oh, this is my first job or this is the first time I've gone into the security world. No, you've been doing security for probably nine years, no, almost right. as long as I have. It's like, how do you not know that? Also, why are you saying dumb stuff to the client? Don't say no or I don't know. Say, let me find the person who can get you the answer. Also, why wasn't I contacted? Yeah. Did you go home? Did they kick you out? Because no one talked to me after the fact. So well, I don't I, I know what's going communication, on. I think the communication has gone out to make sure that they're checking with the security staff because the previous company had people that did not have the license at all. Yeah, which is a huge no-no. Huge problem. Huge so no-no. now... So now they're sitting there, like, making sure that we have it, and then our guards are just being idiots because part of you getting the license is to know that you must keep that on you yeah. with your company ID card. So they're accepting a digital copy, which is fine which because is they fine. send you digital copies now. Yeah. They used to send them in the mail. They, the haven't, done pa- they haven't done paper credentials yeah. since, like, 2016. Yeah, so it's so like this guy not to know, know. that he not has know credentials. Know yeah, that's that's crazy. And then the portfolio guy is just hiring people. Oh my god. He's just like, hey, yeah, onboard this person. It's so and so's son. I go, what do you mean it's so and so's son? You know they can't work at the same site or be affiliated with the same client. What are you talking about? What are you doing? And he's telling the recruiters, just onboard them. Here's a rec. Yeah. Just onboard. Them. I- it, it's too, he's got he's got his hands in the pie too much. That's why I like that one email. I'm just like, look, we got this, bro. Like, he's, don't he's worry about he's like, oh yeah, so we talked about it. No, we we talked about how that shouldn't be a thing because it's her son, and he can't report to her son. Like that's not. No, not that's, no. the, the, but, I don't get it. And then like we had a hotel site where an officer got removed. I forgot why. It doesn't really matter. But he just randomly decides to show up to the office today. And I was like, what are oh, you? Oh, he did? I was like, hey, what? Yeah, he's sitting at the front as I was about to leave. So you oh, left for the day early, like around yeah. 1 30 or whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. And to prep for our meeting later today, which again, no one needs to be on that anymore. That was so wild. Dumb. But like, as I'm, I got my hoodie on and my backpack on and I'm at the front, and our administrator, our office administrator stops me and goes, hey, you know, so and so's up there. I'm like, what do you mean Barney's up there? What are you talking about? Goes, yeah, because it rhymes. I go, yeah, I go, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. let me see. And I see, I'm like, Barney, where are you at? He's like, oh, yeah. I'm like, what are you doing here? I said, Sal, we need to figure out my schedule. Well, you didn't answer any of my text messages where I gave you literally seven, eight different options and then a way that I can jimmy rig the system to just make you work. I go, what do you want? What? You just ghosted me for like four days and then decide to randomly show up. To my job are you a crazy ex-girlfriend now i've known this guy for like four or five years so i'm saying things that i probably i wouldn't say to him yeah 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 and he's laughing he's like yeah i just want to make sure it works i go okay so are you applying for jobs i go because you have to like you essentially have to apply internally to get oh god oh shit i'm like you have to apply internally and that's how we do transfers with the company because you still have to interview with the manager that you're going to move to because they're not just going to say yes blindly. No, like, right, I wish right. it was that easy, but like you have to still interview to make sure that you're a good fit because they're not going to take a risk as an active employee or not. So I was like, okay, like let me see what you've applied for. And I see it, and it's like a supervisor position, which he's done. So I was like, did you get any like feedback from me? He goes, no, an automated bot said I was supposed to have a phone call today at 1130. It never happened. I go, okay, did you reach out to the, did you reply to the bot? Did you reply to the email? Did you do a follow-up? I go, you're, again, you're a veteran, man. Like, you know how to play this game because we played it together two years ago when you got booted out of your site. Like, we know what's going on. So I send out an email as a courtesy to the person who made the rec, like, for him. I was like, okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to give it 24 hours for that person to respond if they respond, then we have a plan. If they don't respond, then we go back to my original plan, 
which is you manipulating your primary job so that I can get you training hours. Why are you fighting so hard to get two jobs? You must be getting paid garbage at your other job because I'm paying you garbage at this job. And he's like, yeah, man, the two combined give me like a, the equivalent of an actual like sustainable income. I can't do it with just one. I got to do it with two or I got to figure out a way to double my money. I was like, hey, I'm right there with you. If you figure that out, tell me. I'll quit with you <laughs> on the spot. I go, but until that happens, bro, once you go two weeks, the system auto you. So it's like you have to figure it out. Like, or they're going to just, the system will unalive you and just disconnect you from the system. And that's it. They go, oh, that's whack and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, bye. And I'm telling them all these tricks that I could pull off. So we left with nothing. We left with nothing. Then I had, yeah, he just walked out and I just gave him like the equivalent for like a quote in-house meeting. I'm like, this will reset the system. You have until Thursday to figure something out. Yeah, right. Come Friday, the new the new timer starts over again and we have to do this all over again. And he's I'm moved not, closer, right? He's moved closer. So I'm like, there's more options for you. But like, he's like, I only want to work overnight. I'm like, I can't put you in any of my logistics sites because you effed up the first time. No, I can't right. put you back in any hotel or retail sites because you just effed up now. I go, the only other sites that are open are weekends only. He goes, ah, oh, Sal, I can't do it. Can't you just do something? Uh, yeah, I can give you a weekend site. <laughs> That's all I can do, man. And then swinging it back to our patrol team, because the last thing him and I talked about was about patrol. Now, I couldn't even fake it to oh, make no. it if I put him out no. there. No. Exactly. So I was just like, my other patrol officer, who only does like one or two days a week, I get a report from like our new digital person who only deals with the cars i guess another person got promoted to a position that was never talked about whatever oh, yeah. Yeah, whatever yeah. not talking about it no but PR. like now now yeah now he's sending me oh sal did you see all these all these notifications to our driving program and all this the officers doing this is officers doing that i go don't you review them isn't that your job now why are you coming to me? Don't ask me who worked on what day. You have access to our scheduling system, and you're getting the notifications. Just forward it to me. Oh, but can't you go into it? No, I can't. No, I can't go into the program. I can't log into the program. It's giving me errors. I put in my ticket, and I don't care about it. You're the guy that's running the show when it comes to the cars now. So what happened? Oh, well, here's 14 notifications about your officer speeding. I go, you know it's my officer? Well, no, because the camera's covered. Okay, can you rewind the camera to see who covered it? Well, no, because I can only go back so far. So then why are we saying it's my officer? I don't know. Is it your officer? What <laughs> What are we doing here, bro? There's three teams that have cars. You're no, auto right. coming to me. I go, first of all, give me the timestamps. And he sends me an email with, like, an ungodly huge list. I go, you can't, like, in my head, I'm like, you can't, like, condense that like a normal human in excel whatever i was like it's tagged to a car give me the license plate for the car because i know what car my person was using that night just so it happens to be my person but that's not the you shouldn't assume that it was me that's, you shouldn't assume <laughs> i have like a tenth of the amount of drivers in this brain all right assuming it was me just assuming that it's me that's doing the error just bleeds into my already disdain for how a lot of these people are being promoted into positions. No, right. So there's, no there's clearly an attack that's happening that's that's not being like openly said, but there's a lot of very sneaky BS rat bull stuff that's happening and I don't like it and I'm watching it happen live. So right. but anyway, the thing that happened the, the patrol officer did something excessively horrible. So I had to take them off the patrol team. Um, and they're like, oh, yeah, no, the machine's really, they're really fickety. I don't, I don't think it was really doing that. I go, even if I gave you the benefit, I can't believe I just clapped on. Even if I gave you the benefit <laughs> of the doubt <laughs> and said, like, and I cut the speed in half, you're still speeding. Right. Like, this isn't your car. This is a company car. Because if right. you were to get a ticket, you're fired. If you were to get pulled over, you're fired. Really if you were to get into an accident, oh, you're yeah. paying for the repairs and you're fired. Like, yeah. there's there's no hiding that. And you're really bad with cars, as I've learned to find out. 
that like her car is massively in huge repairs. Oh, really? So she's already called off for one of her shifts because it's too far away and she can't trust her car driving that far. I go, you need to fulfill at least this part until I can transfer you somewhere because this position you work doesn't exist anymore because you effed it up. So you got to turn in your, your equipment and don't use our cars. If you use our car, even if you just walk into our car, you're terminated. You yeah, can't right. touch the cars don't, anymore. Don't even look at it. Yeah, like, don't even look that, at is it. That hangover, these, is that yeah, hangover? Is yeah. getting gas? Just put, what is it, earmuffs and eyeballs. Just, just don't do it. And then I should have never said F, FP. I should have never said it. We were in lunch. We, I don't, we were getting tacos one day. Well, you know, you're influenced, though, because, yeah. you know, Jen had said F you to her little spot that was over there. Yeah. And then we passed your spot, and you're and like, yeah, F, 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 and then that yeah. was it. And then that and was got, it that night. And since then, not one shift <laughs> has worked. Pro- <laughs> since last Tuesday, not one shift That's has crazy. come in on time. Not one. There's four shifts a day. Not one since last Tuesday has been there at the right time That's everyone's crazy. calling off everyone's showing up late everyone's giving me like no shows it's just been endless and literally yep. before as we started i had two call-offs that happened oh, at that, that spot oh, yeah my God. so my overnight Again, person at 2 a.m that's right midnight and 2 a.m both <laughs> called off oh my god within three minutes of one another they must be calling each other I don't know what's going on because the girl, the midnight girl who calls off is always asking for hours when she has her 40 hours set. Oh, I don't feel good. I might have to go. No, and she was asking for it when, before all this happened. Sal, I'll always work a weekend for you. And she did. I'll always do this. I'll always jump in. She always responded to me immediately. And she would drive far for like, she would always drive far. And then all of a sudden, oh, I got a cough. Oh my man, I got a headache. Oh, I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna go to the ER. No, I don't think. I don't, she needs. Yeah. Vicks with cure. Yeah, it's just really bad. And then what else happened? I had a no show at one of my other logistics companies on the north side, where a, a flex officer picked up a shift through the robot and called off, but didn't tell anyone. Didn't even. They called off to like a coworker. Not even a manager or supervisor, like a random coworker. And uh, I, I make the call because, of course, I'm getting phone calls that a post is dark, and I'm like, "What's going on?" And uh, they never showed up. I call them. I go, "Hey, you know, Billy Bob, you know, where where are you at?" Oh, what do you mean, Sal? I'm I'm at my house. Well, you picked up a shift like a week and a half ago. It's been on your schedule for a week and a half. I go. It started 20 minutes ago. It's 11 o'clock. Started 20 minutes ago. Where are you at? 11 in the morning. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not going to make that. I go, bro, you've covered shifts for me before. You don't want to tell me these things? Yeah, I forgot. I thought I told the robot. I go, well, I can tell you right now you didn't tell the robot because the robot would tell me. I go, so screenshot what you told the robot and screenshot if you sent someone. So he sends me a text to the robot, which is him legit talking to the robot like it's a normal person. So the robot's just telling him, I don't understand that. Can you try and rephrase it differently? So he's just talking like full on casual. I'm on the street talking to this robot, oh and the robot doesn't get it because the robot doesn't understand that. And like, then, I can see it too. Like, hey, what up, girl? Yeah, How he's like, doing? hey, what How up? You think about yeah, what <laughs> good up? morning. What up, Mona? It's good to see you. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> and then Mona's like, yeah, no, I don't, I don't see anything. Are you going to show up to your shift? <laughs> nah, Mona, I don't think I'm going to make it today. And Mona's like, I don't I'm understand you, what. Girl. Yeah, he's like, she's like, I don't understand what you mean by that. Can you rephrase the your answer? Oh, Mona, this is crazy. Like, yeah, I ain't gonna do that. Do you need medical assistance? It's just like it's ridiculous. Oh, it's ridiculous. My God. I could totally see the whole conversation. Oh, it's really bad, dude. Right? It's really bad. I de- I looked at it and then, then like deleted it two minutes later. It's really bad because I'm like I can't. This is not a day yeah. for me. And then we had um, Monday at one a.m. There's like a a, a mid shift, essentially like a red eye shift that happens at the same site. From another person who's always asking for Monday shifts. And the, and the guy's like, oh, uh, I don't know about that. He goes, I, I'm not really feeling. Uh, I thought I thought it was Monday night. I'm of like, course. no, dude, it says 1 a.m. I mean, yeah, yeah it, it'll be dark out. 
but it's Monday at 1 a.m. Oh, well, I thought it was Monday at 11 p.m. I'm like, okay, well, you and I are texting each other at 1.30. Can you just go there? Oh, uh, well, I mean, I don't have a car. What are we talking about? Again, what, what are you doing, man? Why can't you just start the sentence with that? Why am I wasting 20 minutes talking to you and you can't even get there? If I were to buy you an Uber right now, could you figure out a way home? Nah, man, Uber's too expensive. No, that's not what I said. I said, can you figure out a way home? I don't care how you get home. If I get you there, can you figure out a way home? I'll use my own money to get you there right now. Uh, I don't know. Let me look at the Ubers. The Uber is not going to be the same price it is right now, bro. Because no, you get off at 9 in the morning. The yeah. Uber is going to be whatever it is at 9 in the morning. Nah, I can't risk it. If it's over $20, I'm not going to make it. I'm like, you suck. You just absolutely <laughs> suck. Go off ball through a garden hose. You suck. Go back to the oh, corners, dude. Oh, oh my God. Just horrible. Horrible, horrible guy. You know, when you when you go ahead and eliminate all their excuses and they still tell you no, it's because they just didn't want to. They just, just didn't want to do it. it. Just tell yeah, me you don't, don't want to go there. Like, I, right. I'm telling you, I'm going to use my own personal money to get you to work so that you can make money. You, you can make money. Yeah, and right. you're never going to pay me back. And I know that because you're worthless. And you still don't want to do it. So just say you don't want to work. Stop That's crying it. to your supervisor and sending me these, like, tear emoji BS mm -hmm. Just, you don't want to do it. Just say you don't want to do it. Or yeah, right. you want to do it for more money, which also means you don't want to do it. So, like, oh, just, just tell me that. <laughs> and then one of our commercial sites, like, way up by us, I get I get a text message at the end of the day. It's like 6.30 at night. I'm already home. I'm with my kids. We're having dinner today. Oh, by the way, our receptionist called off sick. They don't want to use sick time. I'm just going to cover for them. I'm like, what do you mean you're just going to cover for them? Like, the shift ended an hour and a half ago. What are you talking about? So did you stay and cover her post, the receptionist post? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go, why didn't you call anybody? But no one can do the post but me. Why? Is that our, is that our site? Yeah, the, 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 the zoo site that's up, up north. Oh, okay. So I'm, just like, I'm like, why? Why does no one do it? Well, they have to be registered in, a, in like, a, a directory, and that's the only people that can answer the phones. I go, you mean I have to register my name to pick up a phone? There's no codes or anything that I need to... I know what site this is. There's no codes to use a telephone landline. What are you talking about? Well, to transfer people? I'm like, don't actually explain to me. I didn't ask you to explain to me. I go, <laughs> I go get your staff on this directory because everyone should be able to cover every post that's there. This is not a unique post where only you... And then, and then you just crank out OT and make me look bad... Because the, the client that's there loves zoo animals anyway, and they don't care what you make. But I care because it affects my bonus. Stop doing right. oh, overtime, you moron, who doesn't know how to read anything. Another guy who got grandfathered into a supervisor position, and they just love him because he knows how to juggle or whatever the F he actually does when he's out there. Because he sure as hell doesn't do the schedules right, or the PTO right, or the sick time right, or the training right. But he's like he's like St. James guarding the Golden Gates to get into the damn door. <laughs> it's like, go, oh, man, if they don't say that so-and-so gives them the green light, they can never come in here. I'm like, trust me, bro. He either got a handy from the girl who got left because she's atrocious at everything, <laughs> or he got circle jade by the guy who's there now because he hasn't shown up on time once since he started. So don't oh, tell me God. that you need to be this, like, premium level golden egg jack and jill mother effer who can like just pop the egg out of the golden goose but really what it is is it's just a 3.99 12 pack of eggs at jewel that's suck and half broken anyway you suck at what you do <laughs> and you're another mfer who reminds me that i chose the wrong route and i have to watch <laughs> you make more money than me as you like keel over so you get pummeled by the client and they just keep liking you for it you suck oh my dude God. Oh you're my the worst God. and then to close it all off i had an officer who got out of outpatient surgery successfully thank you god bless thank god yeah god bless yes then he gives me a three-day notice saying hey i need two months off i'm like bro we've been talking about your surgery for like half the year we're prepping for the dates we got everything done because the surgery was last week. I got your PTO done. And you were supposed to give me the doctor's note last week when you got out because they give it to you. 
Yeah, right. So he has the doctor's note, doesn't understand that it's a doctor's note. He's like, yeah, it's just a letter that my nurse gave me. Yeah, bro. Like, I know that the word <laughs> nurse and doctor yeah. are different, but, like, give me that. Because it tells me when you can return to work or if you have restrictions. Oh, no, it doesn't say that. It just says my name. Send me a picture of the effing thing, bro. Because you're, now, you're, now you're agitating me beyond, like, a, a reasonable level. So he sends me the picture. It's literally, like, his discharge paperwork, and it has nothing to do with what I asked for. Oh, my God. And then instructions on how to take care of his wound. How to take care of his wound or his, his thing, <laughs> whatever's going on. And then he's telling me, he goes, oh, yeah, the doctor also said that it's going to be an additional four to six weeks for recovery. And, I, and he goes, oh, yeah, but that's I'm sure that's just a suggestion, and I can come into work on Monday. And I'm like, <laughs> what doctor gives you a four to six week suggestion? I go, yeah. I'm not allowed to ask you what you went into surgery for, but if it's four to six weeks, you're not coming back tomorrow. Nope. Don't come back to the site until you get me the paperwork. If you don't give me the paperwork in a pay period, I'm putting you on a leave. If you don't give me the paperwork in the first two weeks of the leave, they're going to cancel it, and then I'm going to term you. Figure it out right now. You have 24 hours to get me this. It hasn't texted me since. It's, it's a protected leave. Just take your leave, and then, like, that's it. But, like, he doesn't want know it. what the recovery time is. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want to use his PTO or sick time. He's like, I can just come in on Friday when my shift starts. Don't come in anywhere for anything until I get the paperwork. If you have to crawl back to the hospital to get it, get it. Spoiler, you can just email your stupid doctor and they'll send it to you. Because, again, I've gone through this scenario three effing times with this stupid company that we work for. And I know exactly what needs to happen in Chicago. Don't talk to me like I'm a child and a moron. Oh, the boo-boos on my toe hurt and I don't know if I can walk. So let me go back to work on my walking post. You're, how do you put your pants on every day? Is there a, do you have one of those like Elon Musk robots that just follows oh, you no. everywhere, iRobot style, no. and reminds you to brush your teeth? Rocky, Rocky Five? Yeah, Rocky Five, where like, <laughs> well, what's his name? Polly's like banging Polly. the robot on the side or whatever. Oh, I love her. She's my friend. Oh, Polly, how'd you change your name, Polly? <laughs> Oh my god, it's just so Polly, you're so cute. It's Polly. so dumb. And then it's like at, at the end of the day, at the end of the day in the in the office today, there was a big powwow between myself, Germinia, Jason, oh, and Jennifer. Not even about oh. what, what oh, about no, the it's not even about this, not even about the betrayal. Because oh, the there betrayal was a mo was there was a moment that happened where I kind of caught on to something that I'm probably playing more into than I than I should. But I'm I, like I know how a certain team it has been trained and and like fostered in our in our branch. So yeah. I'm telling them all. I go here's what I think is going to happen. It's very like apocalypse now in regards to my predictions. I go, but you have to understand that there's been X, Y, and Z that's happened without anyone being told or offered. That it's going to be a boys' club without anyone being told or offered that the other person that's on the other side of this, like the mm -hmm. West side of the state is transitioning into their role, which was never told or offered to anybody, even though quote, she's been there for 16 years and she deserves it. I'm pretty sure that's not how that works, but when you're playing golf and, 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 uh, <laughs> whatever circle yeah. J's, everyone gets an opportunity. Circle so <laughs> whatever gets less stress for the big boss even yeah, though I but... saved them, I don't know, 350 grand. Let's not forget about that. But who cares? Because it's not relevant in this exact moment. That um, there's going to be a lot of like, we're, we're about to absorb like another certain amount of hours per certain amount of sites. I go, Germania's got two sites that are ready to dip out at the beginning of the year. So you know they're going to go to her first and they're going to bombard her with here's a b and c to make up for what you lost and then some to make up for right. the loss of the loss and then they're going to hit me with it because they're going to think that when peak is done that i can handle the next influx of stuff that's going on i go and then they're going to go to you 
uh, and I say this to Jennifer and Jason, they're going to go, going to, go to U2 because once you're done doing your onboarding for your government detail, which requires like a, spe a specific screening to happen to it, and it's not something that takes like a short amount of time, it takes time to get that through. I go, once you're done with that part, you know that they're going to want you to build a flex roster to cover that, and then they're going to bombard something on you. We've been watching it for two years, and now everyone who's got their brand new office, it's all doors closed and no one wants to talk yeah. anymore. Yeah, like how yeah, it used to, yeah. no one wants to talk about their video games like they used to. You put up a new glamour shot on Teams, you don't think anyone notices that? Like, I understand what's happening, and I'm, I'm because I'm not part of the old Wisconsin crew, and they, they, they think that, like, again, they think that I'm just some dumb Chicagoan who doesn't understand when betrayal goes through, and I, I am a born and bred Chicagoan where the only thing I think about is betrayal because oh, that's, that's what happens, especially right. in this business at our level. It's cutthroat without it being cutthroat because everyone thinks because I'm because they're nice that it doesn't matter. No, 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 no. We're not playing this Easter Bunny bull ass. Like, I'm, I'm not, we're not, it's not my game. Okay, because I know no one's going to take the logistics sites for me. No way. No, of course not. There, no, there's no trade possible that would justify anybody in our branch to take the, these logistics sites. Because it's already gone through half of them, and I'm the only one that survived anyway. So as long That's as right. the logistics sites continue to be garbage, I continue to keep my job, <laughs> which is horrible because I can't sleep on the weekend because of the dumbass job. <laughs> but it is what it is. And I'm just everything that's that was betrayal on Saturday's episode and Friday's recording is yeah. nail in the coffin. We're not even doing that because Germinia and I know that the long term planning is more important. That we have to be able to prep for the two sites that are going down, knowing that they're gonna give her a bigger chunk and I'm gonna have to absorb something from her end, no pun intended, to make everything balanced out the right way without tipping over which i'm sure is impossible but like whatever i'm not talking about that but um yeah so that's that's just two days ladies and gentlemen and that's me that's shortening it. it to 45 minutes i don't think i blinked in the last hour of talking and i'm, I'm sure that you've <laughs> heard me go like beyond a a, a, a chatty moment where I'm just talking and talking, not a breath, just talking, and I'm heave talking. <laughs> there was a moment over the weekend where I'm hanging out in Discord with a, like our core group of guy friends, and uh, I'm watching a video, but I'm not talking to them. Like, like they're sharing their screen and playing whatever games they're playing, and they're like, "Hey, Sal, did you fall asleep?" Because they can hear me like heavy breathing. I'm like, "No, I'm just fat and I'm breathing. Like, cause I'm just tired." <laughs> I go, I'm not asleep, I'm awake, and I'm doing something, and like, they, they laugh, and just like, because like, you got to make it funny, there's no... No, right, of no, course. I'm like, I'm just bit, like, just, like, can you relax, 125 yeah, Club? Right. Like, relax, okay? When you become a real man, and you eat like a like a steak for once, you and I can have a conversation about how I'm breathing. How about that? <laughs> They're calling you Darth Vader on Discord? Oh, dude, it's worse, it's worse. The, oh, I can't even man. talk about the uh, the things that they call me on Discord. Oh, I, I mean, we throw, that. I clap back hard, but... Yeah, yeah. That's that's the luxury of knowing people for like twenty to twenty five years. I'm like, don't make me bring up real stuff, and then we can just go no, back right. to what we were doing. Like, don't be like that, because I'll be, because yeah. like you don't understand what's happening on my end of the computer, where there's like phone calls endlessly and text messages endlessly, and I have my laptop digging at me about emails, and then you're gonna come on here and tell me that I'm breathing like Darth Vader. Watch me get <laughs> angry. Like, don't. Like I said, I'm always angry. I'm just ready to turn, go green, and punch. Like, I'm I'm halfway into it every time. Don't be one of those dumb monsters from the Avengers where I punch you in the nose and you front flip over me. Like, because that's what's going to happen. That's absolutely what's going to happen. Well, I had one of those moments over the weekend. Yeah, tell me. So, we, we had, like, a Friends Thanksgiving thing here. Yeah. And I really didn't want to invite anyone because Audrey's health is up and down. Audrey sent the invite to me, though. She through, did. Yeah, which I appreciated. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, no. Nah, so, you know, we were having the Friends Thanksgiving. She, of course, gets sick. She's not able to participate. Mm -hmm. So, I had the food was all cooked. I had to, like, reheat, maybe finish cooking something, whatever. So, got it out, carved up the turkey. The turkey's falling apart because it was, like, in the... I don't know if it was like a big crock pot or whatever, but the thing's falling apart. So I'm I'm putting it up on the serving dish or whatever. We have a, a good meal. Everything's fine. We go to play Uno. Uh oh. Jason, oh, did Jason bring the the demon Uno? Jason, yes. Oh, he brought that's in, so good. 
He brought in the deck that is supposed to be the deck of all decks. Yeah, when you have a deck that says plus twenty, like that's uh, that's a horror deck. And then if you if you have twenty five cards in your hand, you're automatically eliminated. Mm. So we play the first game. There's extra people here. There's like people that not everyone knows, but I no, I know that I know everyone at the house, but not everyone knows each other. So we played. It's like a long game. I end up. I think I. I think I end up winning. Oh, if I'm not mistaken. Nice. I end up winning the first game. Okay, so now those people leave. And now it's just Junior, Noah, Jason, and myself playing Uno. Yeah, cutthroat. <laughs> no, well, Noah's not bad for his age. Mm-hmm. Like, he, he can throw down. So then all of a sudden, Jason's like, we're not stacking. You can't stack. So stacking is like if you have the same number. Yeah, you put a colors, plus on a plus. You throw yeah. them up. Well, yeah, you put plus on a plus, you stack them. He says, no, we're not we're not doing stacking, because that's how I won the last one. Mm-hmm. So he's trying to change the rules. He's like, that's not how you're supposed to play. It's not in the rule book. But, like, when I land on free parking, I get cash. Yeah. I don't yeah. care what's in, the, what's in the rule book. I get cash. So he wants to play. I said, okay, we'll, we'll play it that way. So then the three of them plot against me. Yeah. It, it's like, it's like you know, I don't let my kids win shit. Like, they don't win <laughs> nothing when I care. So like so now it's it's Junior and Noah ten years apart plotting against me and you know Jason's gonna go with them because he yeah, underneath everything despises <laughs> no he despises me like he doesn't he doesn't really truly like me he doesn't like all the times I've poked fun at him so like this is the comeback right because he knows how I am with games I'm competitive so we're <laughs> we're playing and so the first thing is he gives me a plus ten Ooh. I so so. Jason gives me a plus 10. I'm up to like 23 cards now. I'm like two away. They have another card that I have to pick the color and I have to draw as many cards until I get something within that color or family. So I only need two more cards before I'm eliminated. So I think Junior gives me, no, I'm sorry. Jason gives me one first. I say blue. First card blue. I put it down. I'm good. So I'm, I'm like, I'm celebrating. Yeah. So got, then got for how, somehow, yeah, I got through it. So, so then it gets reversed. <laughs> Noah reverses it. So now it's going back to Junior 10 to me because it was going the other way. Mm-hmm. So then Junior on his Snapchat shows that he's got this card. And he's like saying out like, oh, he better make a wise choice. He better make a wise choice. So he drops the same card that Jason had just gave, given me. So I get that card and I'm like, all right, I pick like yellow. And boom, I get it after like two. So now I'm at 24 cards right now. I'm at 24 cards and I'm about to I'm about to like just lose mm-hmm. it. So then it gets reversed again. So now Jason's on my left. Now it's coming to me. Jason gives me a plus 10. <laughs> An- another one. And I go absolutely a mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like I, I I get up, I take the folding chair, I throw it at junior. Noah's laughing hysterically. <laughs> I'm all types of f words. I got the video. I'm gonna. I'll post the video on Discord. I can't wait I, to I, see I, it. I'm like. I'm like. You know. F you. Get out of here, Jason. Get the hell out of here. You kids go to bed. This is Saturday night. These kids don't go to bed early. I'm like. I'm shutting everything down. I'm so tired of this. And he. They're just laughing hysterically. They start clapping hands like they just scored a <laughs> touchdown and like they're celebrating the end zone. Team like, victory. Like, we finally got him. Right. We finally got him. Like, we finally got him. And I'm just, I'm in the bathroom, and I hear them still talking smack. And they thought I, I went downstairs. So I yell out, I still hear you. And they're dying. They're, like, rolling. Noah's going extra, like, dramatic all over the place with it. So I finally come out. Junior's like, I got to work a double tomorrow. Like, I'm done. He mm. lost. So it's down to Noah and Jason. Mm. <laughs> this is the final two. The matchup we never knew we needed. <laughs> Jason obliterates him, mm. and Noah like gets upset, but like he's whatever because like he the, had the his victory was won. Yes, yeah. the Super Bowl was won. <laughs> they finally got dead. They finally got dead because I don't let them win anything. No, Uno, you're not winning. Wow. You're not winning Battleship. You're not winning Monopoly. We're not. You're not winning Call of Duty. You're not winning Madden. It's not happening. I only got so many more years left where I can dominate. <laughs> I need to take advantage because once they dominate me, I know just put me in a nursing home. I'm done. Stick a fork in me. <laughs> so this was this might be the turning point. Mm. I could not believe how they they collaborated with each other to take me out. Like I mean, I felt kind of good, 
that like it had it the had camaraderie is there yeah yeah well, well it took all of them our to powers do it. combined <laughs> <laughs> yeah right the, they definitely captain planted it mighty more from power rangers it voltron it and they got me out of there but like that was very like i had to come to like realization like am, am i this old yeah like and i blame jason for not allowing me to stack <laughs> yeah because if you could stack that game would have gone on for oh. at least another 20 minutes Man, I would have been done. I had so many of the same stuff. Like, I would have stacked the top of, like, the pancake stack would have been tall as hell. Like, I would have had skyscraper stack, so I would have been done in two moves. But no, Jason's like, no, we've got to play the rules according to the Uno gods. Yeah. Like, and I, I'm just not religious. I wear my hats in church, yeah. my guy. I wear my hats in church and I get money on free parking. We got. <laughs> we have to play it the right way with the game that's built to be played the wrong way. I get you. Yeah. Exactly. No one plays by those rules. Like, well, what are you doing? You're always like, you're supposed to push there. I think the only <laughs> thing you can't, if, in my old school brain, the only thing you can't stack is the plus four. Can't do Even a wild four on a wild four. I never played like that. Everything else yeah. is free game, but a wild four on a wild four, I never did that. They had wild four reverses. Wild <laughs> yeah, plus no, four that, reverse. I, I, got to look, I got to look at the box because he brought it into work yeah. earlier in the week. And I was like, this is perfection it's this insane. is this is like that double that double ring uh monopoly board that we found yeah like no, that's no, right. that's one of those games where like this is this is built to break families like as it should well it almost did i <laughs> junior almost got the chair across the head no one was like <laughs> dancing on me i was gonna put him through a table like <laughs> it, i had the folding <laughs> tables out yeah it was like get, i was like junior get me the table like i was about to put him through Cause like he's doing this weird dance, and like he's like gyrating all his lower extremities, and I'm like, well, get out of my face, bro! Like you don't yeah. want none of this. Like you're about to put, you, I'm about to put you back in. Like you need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> you need to stop. But they're clapping. And like the video when you see them clapping up, it is it is hilarious. I'm gonna post wait. it in Discord I can't right wait now. To see it. Cause like, oh my god, I can't believe the ridiculousness that was going on with these kids over the weekend. And Junior's 20. Like, why are you still acting like that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, dude. <laughs> You're still acting like that. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. We're not talking about me, Sam. It's not all about me, Sam. No, I was totally on your side until you did that. I was 100% behind you until you said that. No, man. No. These why are you still no. acting like that? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> That's a crazy thing to come out of. And then, I, I mean, I've been chatting up with Junior on, like, Instagram, and I'm like, you are absolutely... Your father's son with the shit that you send me. I go, you are absolutely your father's son, a hundred percent. And he's cracking. No, I mean, he's, I I mean it is very, it's very funny. It's very, it's funny to see such a very specific part of your personality equally bleed into each of these boys. All of them. All yeah. of them have something. All of them have something. Yeah. It, I couldn't even ridiculous. imagine you talking trash like Junior does, gyrating. Like Caesar or like Noah does, <laughs> Noah, and then yeah. being the being that like stern, yeah, what the right. f's your problem? Like yeah, how right. like how Caesar is. <laughs> I can't see all of that happen in you as a person, but like that 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 must I'm be a there. Zord. Must I'm be a sword. Must be Must be there. Oh yeah, I think right. I think we're at our time. Uh, that's a good, that's a that's a great way to close. Well, uh, yeah, I had to because you were going real like angry. Oh, no, like, let I me was, give you the real yeah. angry. Let me give yeah. you the real angry. That's an that's that's the type of anger I wish I had. I, I want that. <laughs> I want that. I'm jealous of that anger. I, I need I'm that. Gonna show you. I'm gonna show you right now. It, it's not very you know, it's very I mean, I'll I'll send it to you right it's now. It's perfect. <laughs> but <laughs> thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out with us on our live streams. I finally got our my TikTok to work for the podcast, although we're not co hosting yet because there's still a lot of weird stuff that the TikTok studio is doing with it yeah. whatever it doesn't matter it's programs but tiktok is working twitch is working catch us on our other social medias with instagram facebook spotify for audio only and then of course the bread the butter is at youtube and bot nobody on time uh also forgot to mention the discord which is where you get to see kind of the funny stuff that we're talking about yeah, well, yeah you want to jump on the, you want to jump on the discord because that's where the cool stuff is all at but uh thank you so much for all the likes the comments, the subscriptions, the shares, like this is this is really what it's all about. We appreciate you guys kind of being there behind us and, and helping us out, pushing us forward as we uh, kind of push our way to the new year and our road to 200 for YouTube subscribers. So thank you so much. We'll catch you on the flip side. And as always, stay classy. Yeah. And Detroit, I mean, 
F Detroit, dude. Yeah, man. They're stupid. You, them with their Lions. I'm just, you know what? I can't wait to watch the Bulls struggle to beat the Pistons. I'm well, no, they beat them tonight. They beat they, them tonight. They did, but, like, it's not, it wasn't a good, like, it wasn't a good A fight. win is a win is a win. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's fine, but, like, they beat the Pistons by, t- like, I don't know. It's it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> I'm not worried. Everything's cool. And we'll see you all later. Have a good night. <laughs> take take care everyone.